My name is David Murray, and I'm a developer on the tracking and planning team for Rational Team Concert. In this video, I'll demonstrate the Quick Planner enhancement to RTC in the 502 release. Quick Planner is a new interface to create and plan work items that is meant to be a streamlined and efficient way to manage work for individuals or small teams. Quick Planner does not replace the existing support for traditional or agile planning. Quick Planner can be found in the Plans menu. You will start in the My Work view. This is a view of work items that are assigned to the logged in user. Other views on the left, such as Teams Work and My Subscribed, show different lists of work items. There are a few ways to customize the items that you see. You can change the team area and timeline on the left, or change the iteration above the work item list. You can pick from the state groups configured for the project to see items that are in progress or resolved or change the view to lanes to see all items at once. Finally, you can type into the filter at the top to find an item by text or by an attribute such as priority. I'll follow the hint in the tooltip and type a dollar sign and then pick high to see only high priority items. If a filter would be of general use, you can click save to save it. A default name is provided that you can change and you can optionally include the selected iteration in the filter. After saving, a new custom view is listed on the left. Right now it would only be visible to you, but you can share the view with the team by hovering over it and clicking to share. You can create work items by using the text field above the work item list. The icons under the field allow attributes to be set, and are a good way to learn the syntax that we used earlier to filter. Items can be changed by clicking on their icons. You can click on the background of a work item to expand it and see more attributes. For example, you could change the category or add and remove subscribers. The Teams Work view shows items assigned to members of the team. This view also allows you to see the team's progress. I'll select Release 1.0 and then expand the progress to see how many hours have been worked, items resolved, and story points completed. If the selected timeline has a backlog iteration, then you can click Backlog to see its contents. You can drag and drop items to change their rank or create a parent-child hierarchy. You can also expand items that have children and then rank their children relative to the parent. You can drill down into a specific work item, for example a story or epic, by clicking on the parent-child icon on the right. This task breakdown view shows child items and offers a convenient way to create more children. Finally, the iteration planning view is a good way to move items out of the backlog and into a specific iteration. The lanes in this view are the iterations and items can be dragged from one lane to another to plan the work. I didn't touch on every feature, but our intention was for the UI to be as streamlined and intuitive as possible. We hope you'll try Quick Planner out and let us know what you think.